five on the cover truck build now. I actually thought this would be done by day five. It's uh, quite a bit more work than I first thought. Um, so what I need to do now is basically make my sliders for where the ramps are going to go, which they're basically going to go in between this underneath there. So they'll slide in and I want them so that I don't want them so they're sticking up above the level of this. I want to keep them flush so they're going to have to sit from about this point here and then they'll slide sort of up. They'll go in sort of up at an upwards angle so that I can get them in further. I've only got enough material to make one ramp. So if I can get one ramp made and uh, I'm going to make like a, just some angle iron sort of sliders for the ramps to slide up in. So this is uh, the, how I'm planning to do the ramps. A seven foot long. And then obviously there'll be a load of pieces connecting these. And just the alley riveted on top. And then um, at the end, I'll cut these off at whatever angle the, uh, I'll have to set it on the back of the truck and see what angle they meet the floor and then just cut a uh, triangle out of this, bring that down and then weld the join up. I'll probably just put an extra plate along the bottom just to uh, support it a bit. flipped it over a few times as I was uh, welding it just to stop it warping and bending and it stayed dead flat so that's sweet so I basically just got to cut this off at the right angle now and um, I'm gonna put a piece of angle iron on the end of here just like the lip of it sticking out and then same thing on the back of the truck but the opposite facing up the other way and then um, that will just be how it slots in. So this is just tacked in at the minute, but just just added a couple of plates on there just where it's going to be skidding around on the floor. That's one ramp done. We cut the alley for that. Now I've just got to make this lip again, which is basically just a piece of angle iron. I've got it sort of tilting back a little bit to uh, make up for the angle that the ramp slots in there.
That worked out perfect. It almost didn't though. We've just got enough of a gap under there to uh, slide the ramps in. Once that's uh, got alley on it, there's just enough gap to get it in. And then yeah, there's just those, those are just slide in like that, and then. I just have some sort of pin that locks them in place. So I can just basically make some little hangers to weld this bit onto here. Same in there, straight down to that and off the centre. And then at the back I just bent that piece of 10mm bar and that will just um, weld straight on and they basically sit perfectly uh, level with the rest of the deck so there won't be any bits sticking up I'm going to put a piece across the back because these ramps can't lift up because of that piece there They have to slide straight back, so I'm only really going to be able to um, sheet the back probably from about this point here. Otherwise, I won't be able to get the ramps in and out without them um, scraping on that bar there. So I probably have like a three or four hundred piece of checker plate across the back, and then another another bar just going across. You know, just to just to sit on really or stand on just make it get a bit easier getting up so yeah that's the ramps i've ordered some new rear lights i've also someone said about having little uh, flexible rubber side marker lights on here so you can see where the corner is in the dark which i thought was a good idea so i've ordered a set of those and i've also ordered a set of spotlights I was thinking of putting them on here, but I think you'll get like wind noise when you're driving if they're up on there. So maybe um, just put them on. Well, it's going to have a tire rack on it, so I might either mount them on the tire rack or I could just put them on top of this bar that's going to be sitting up here. Got that all welded in. We've got some uh, tie downs as well. I'm going to weld them in flush so they sit underneath the uh, checker plate, and now I can just drill the right size hole so that. Just the uh, hook is sticking up through the hole. That's all you'll see. It'll be like a drilled hole with that. You've just got to flip it up, and obviously these will go in whatever direction they're being pulled at. So that one, that corner is going to be being pulled that way up to the back wheel. So that'll get welded in like that. I'll probably trim this edge off just here a bit closer to the edge it kind of be like that so that one will be pulling that way up to the front wheel that one will be pulling back towards the back wheel so I've measured up my Mark II Escort and where the wheels will sit and the front wheel will sit just where that tape measure is and then the back wheel is going to sit just over that. So I think what I might do, just where the wheels sit, is just put an extra piece of this because it's so light. Um, 
just across where the wheels are going to sit so probably those two I'll probably do those two and the two at the back right that's it for today um, kind of a bit stuck now because I've got to wait almost a week just for those um, last few pieces of box to make the other ramp and just put those little diagonals in which is a bit annoying so yeah I mean I can sort the bit, cut the rest of the bits of alley sort out this uh, drop down bin bit here the truck needs a good service so I'll probably get all the stuff to do that give it an oil change, air filter, fuel filter so another problem we got the uh, water is full of oil so yeah water has got oil in it which is a common problem on these um, it's got a water to oil cooler so it uses the uh, engine coolant to cool the oil and uh, there's like a gasket within that cooler that fails and you, and you get oil basically leaking into your water so I'm just going to disconnect it for now and then I have to get the uh, either get a new cooler or I think you can just buy the gaskets and replace the gasket so I'll look into that so give it a service, do that and then I'm going to just clean all the rusty scabs off the chassis and um, coat that with probably with like Gravitex which is like a it's like an under seal type stuff but it's good I've used it before and then hopefully by the time I've done all those bits we will still be able to finish the uh, rest of this get it all painted check it back on job done I've got plenty of other jobs that need doing in between that as well so yeah that's it for this one cheers for watching see ya